but like I said about this guy I mean I, I will be very blunt about this guy he's either going to be like 25 50 within the next like six months or there's something wrong with this play it's really just that simple because this play is that good okay I'm playing on Drake and what I beat him with I beat him with some like funky business let's go back to e4 here keep it simple um but basically I feel like Wesley's back in the spot where I was um oh why did I play my I'm gonna play a Gucci piano let's play the Gucci piano now he's let me save a tempo somehow I've not had to actually play h3 yet so this is not correct though I don't think I think I go Bishop b5 here I've saved a tempo on h3 I think this tempo is very valuable actually let me go a4 here uh I think I'll play Bishop e3 trade some Bishops here basically trying to save a tempo essentially I never played h3 in this extra tempo it's it probably doesn't matter right now but I think it's gonna matter at some point uh, I guess I'll go Queen b3 to hit the pawn on b7 and maybe Rook d1 maybe Rook a1 also maybe h3 at some point depending but I don't think I need to play h3 yet so it goes Queen c6 I don't want to play d5 I think I'm just gonna go Rook a1 here over protect the pawn on e4 Rook a6 looks wrong uh more like looks very wrong actually this should not be right I don't really want to play h3 either but I think h3 is actually probably the best move here but like Queen a2 this Rook a6 Rook b6 looks highly suspicious to me highly suspicious it does not look like the right approach yeah like Queen d7 now I'm gonna go Knight d2 and Knight c4 I also have Knight f5 I and mean, this looks very wrong I also have d5 I also have Knight c4 here d5 looks like the move but d5 is also very aggressively it's aggressive and risky at the same time I think I'm just gonna go b3 knight c4 maybe just trying to play a very very clean game here like knight c4 looks correct to hit the rook you can also go knight f5 um queen d2 looks like a reasonable move as well Rook a8, logical. I'm gonna play knight e2, try to trade some knights here, maybe. I don't know if this is actually great for me, but it feels like I have an advantage here somehow. I'm gonna go here and then g3 somewhere. I might go knight g1 and g3, actually. I think it's b6 which I think is wrong because now I can go knight g1 and g3 and I'm gonna start kicking these knights back and once I start kicking the knights back I feel like I'm gonna get some advantage here okay, g3 looks pretty obvious um yeah this looks pretty obvious I'm just making sure d5 is not a move now I can go d5 here as well um I think I should play d5 actually I'm gonna go rook f3 I think maybe knight a3 let's go here because knight f6 I can sack and I also have rook f5 as well I also have knight e3 knight f5 too also knight e3 knight f5 looks very scary very hard for I think um very very hard for Andre to play this position I also have knight a3 knight b5 to put pressure on these pawn like he's got the flying V but I think it's a very very bad structure yeah it's a very very hard position to play plays Knight f8 which does give me Rook f5 now I can sack an exchange here it's a big question whether I should I'm I think I'm going to g6 I can also take take I mean if this is no good so be it like it's I mean if this is not winning then what am I even playing chess for go here knight of five I mean this looks horrible 
I'm just putting my knife on f5. So here, cut off knight g5. Just going knight f5, and I think he can almost just resign here. I mean, that's king h8, I guess, but... Maybe I misplay... Uh, I kind of misplayed this, I think. I misplayed this. I think I was winning, and I... I'm still probably better, but I misplayed this a little bit. I'm going to go here on queen h5, maybe. Go here. Pressuring the pawn on um, f7. What I need is I need this knight to get to f5 somehow. Like, one, two, three, four, five. It's a lot of knight moves to get there, though. Plays rook g6. I think I'm just going to go c4 here. Just lock up the queen side and then slowly bring the knight over. I don't actually know how I get the knight, but I assume I can put a knight here as well. F5 I just take. Okay, so I go here, of course. This should be winning for me. So I can put the knight on B5 even. Big, big pressure everywhere. And D's knights are so good. D's knights should win me the game. Plays f5. I kind of expected that actually. Um, I should have put my knight on f5, probably. But it still should be winning. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'm just gonna go like knight b5 or something. Maybe I'm just queen e2 and f3. Go here, rotate the knights. Hmm. I mean, it should be winning. I have h5 and I'm winning now. This is just checkmate. Can I sack the queen? No, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's just winning. This just wins. Yeah. Beautiful win for me. Beautiful win. That's one of the best ones I've had. But I think I should not have allowed f5, actually. I think right here... When we got to this position, I think I should have just played knight f5 and just locked it completely so he can never push the p. And then just bring the knight slowly over. I think this is actually positionally just completely winning. But whatever, it's still a win. It's a big win. Yeah. Perfect game. Not a perfect game because I allowed f5. I, I should have just locked it down because here, if he can't push, he can't activate the knight. And it's just like basically I have all day to just reroute my knight. Like I can just slowly put the knight on b5, put the rook on f3, and then find something. But anyway, it is what it is. We moved to 7 out of 7. MSB is still playing, so let me pull up that game. Let's see if we have his game. That is one of the best games I've played in Title Tuesday in a while, though. Um, no, no, jo no, no joking. Um, 0.9 winning, well, it's basically because there's a horizon where I can just keep improving my position, and there's nothing he can do. Yeah. Let's see. What other, what other games do we have? We got Nihal's game. Change the scene, of course. Yeah, that's one of the best games, positional games I've played in a long time in Title II. So, like, I played a very, very crisp game. Uh, Blue Bomb should be losing here. Just block with the bishop, I guess. And now I'll probably just keep pushing the A pawn. Poor Zoe's getting slaughtered. I mean, life is tough. Life is tough. Bishop d2, maybe? And then rook c5. Yeah, rook c3, and then a3, a2 is winning also. King c6 is a funny attempt at a checkmate, by the way, but you just go rook b3.
Rook c4, I guess. Oh, no. Rook c4 is a blunder. Just bishop c3. A2. A2 should be winning. Check. Don't allow meat in one. A2. Yeah, just, just king a5. A, a2 is winning, I think. Just check. Wait, is there no stalemate here? Like, queen a4, yeah. I didn't see it. There was no stalemate, right? I didn't see a stalemate. Was there a stalemate? No, right? Yeah, there's no stalemate. Bowsman guy is sus. I mean, who's sus? Bow Bowman guy, 2909. What do you guys want me to do? Like, seriously, it's it's not my not my thing. You're saying this guy on six out of seven is sus. Like, whatever. Who cares? I don't know. My gut says I should be solid, but you don't get to be seven out of seven every day. So let's go for it. You don't get to be seven out of seven every day. So I got to go for it. I normally play E5. You play some very boring draw or something. So it's what it is. Hmm. I guess I'll just play a simple line. Well, I, I mean, I'm using too much time here. I'm gonna, actually, I'm, I'm ending up playing something rock solid. Not sure this is good or bad, but I'm playing something that's actually super solid. Play H. Actually, H6 is also a little bit dubious, probably, but whatever. Okay, you go c4. I'm going to play g6 and bishop g7 here, I guess. Likely going to head... To we're headed towards a draw. C1, I guess I go rook c8. So d5, I can just trade everything down. It plays rook c2. So now I can actually maybe play queen e7 here instead. Because d5, I can always just trade everything off. Could have played b5 too, maybe, but whatever. Let's go here. I'm actually maybe slightly better. It's probably just a draw, but I feel like I've got decent chances after rook d8. Because now he doesn't get to play it. I can always go b5. The main thing here is how do I reroute the knight? Um, I want to play rook d6, 98 d5. I mean, how do I play this for the win is the question. I'm trying to find some way to play this for a win. I don't really know how to do that. So if I don't know how to do that. Then I probably just sit and wait, but I don't know what I'm doing. I, why am I thinking so long? Hmm. I guess I'll just sit. I mean, I don't want to make a draw here, but I... how do I not make a draw and keep chances to win? That's the problem. I, mean, I can go 98, but it's risky. But you know what? Light <sighs> takes Bishop B6, Rook C8. No, it's too, it's too risky. 98 is just too risky. It's all just too risky. I don't want to make the draw here. I actually don't want to, but I... Okay, it goes H4. I'll go back. I'm happy to see H4 because now I have Knight G4 lurking as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what I'm... I don't know what either of us are supposed to do here. I'm, I mean, I'll offer him a draw. I'll offer him a draw if you want. Okay, he doesn't want a draw. Okay. Um, it was rookie two. Okay, I see. He wants to play d5 somewhere, maybe. Um, wait, now... No, 98 is still bad. I keep forgetting that 98 is not a move. I guess I'm just going to go... Uh, cd5...
I think I'm gonna go here because d5 I'll just take with the e pawn and then he has nothing on the file because I'm I've got the double stack maybe I had e5 there too but it's probably I had e5 there actually I think I had e5 that might have been good for me but whatever I'm trying to think what I'm going to do based on his next moves, because the, this is where I need to be careful. Go here. It goes back, I mean. Kenny's got this D5 idea. I'm thinking, I'm thinking too much. Why am I thinking so much? My king shouldn't be on H7 though. I don't care if he takes on H6. Oh, actually it hits the rook, so it's not a move even. I guess I'll go 98 now. Go here to hit the pawn. I like rookie eight, why not? Just wait. I'm getting a bunch of play. I think I think Nihal's kind of misplayed this a little bit now. Take. Yeah, Nihal has really butchered this. He's in real trouble now. Still tricky though. Still very tricky actually. Probably just a draw. Um, Rook C4, what is that? Wait. Oh, geez. Did I just blunder? I just blundered. Oh, my God. I mean, I, I, I was so much better there. Why did I play ninety five? getting tired here that that's a byproduct of, of title Tuesday getting too tired from four that's unfortunate if I'd seen rook d4 I would have just won the game uh, that's so bad yeah I missed rook d4 oh. that's 100% a byproduct of, of a long stream that's really upsetting <sighs> I mean it's it's annoying because I played that game so well to get there like I've, I've kept it together the whole event and now it's just like at the end as usual yeah. No, Rook D4 and Rook E4 and it's just GG. Yeah. I stalled so well, I wasn't stalling. Um, but you know what I did wrong was I, I thought too long when I should have taken the draw. Like right here. Yeah, why didn't I play Rook E3? I mean, this was such an obvious move here too. 
Yeah. Rookie two is the draw, apparently. Ugh. It's life. No, it's annoying because I, I should not have lost that game, but whatever. Yeah, Rook takes either is fine. No, it's just annoying because, like, Title 2 is it's always trying to keep it together to the end, and it's just like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so annoying. Outplayed him the whole game, and then I allowed, then I, then I missed Rook D4. Yeah, should have just checkmated him. Well, I should, I should have played Rook to D4. I, 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 it's like I didn't use my time well in that game. It's not over, no. I mean, I still can get there, but it's just frustrating because now it's out of my hands. Yeah. Pop and Adderall, I still have some coffee, but yeah. No, Rook D4 is just winning on the spot. If, if I had a minute or two, I... Uh-oh, did I just freeze here? Wait. Did I just freeze? Okay. Yeah, if I, if I had another minute or two, I would have played Rook D4, but with, with like 30 seconds. The problem is also when I played Knight D5, I thought I was just winning. Uh, I thought I was just winning, and then he, he's able to take and go Bishop D4, and then suddenly it's like, your mind has to reset, and I couldn't reset after I allowed that. He won the CGC. There are no mountains left. Well, I mean, there are mountains to climb, but the problem is at the end of the day, like, if you look at Wesley's match today, for example... There's the, there's the final boss. There's the final boss. And what do you do about the final boss? That's the big problem. The final boss is kind of a problem. I'm not going to lie. It's like when I play Lies of P. Same thing. The final boss is very tough to face. And I get a double black, which is kind of annoying too, but whatever. I'm just going to play Bishop G4 and E6, maybe C5. Could go 97 here. I think I am going to play 97 and 95, maybe. I mean, I could be wrong, obviously, but I just, when I see Wesley play, I feel like he's going through the motions. He doesn't feel like a happy person to me. I have Knight of 5 here, but I think I'm just going to take the pawn. I'm very happy that I have this position, by the way, because this is going to get sharp. And I need to win here. I mean, maybe I don't need to win, but like I need to try and be aggressive in these games. Go here, hit the bishop. If bishop f4, I have knight g. Oh, I should have gone to d7 actually. Mm. Still looks very good for me though. Can't develop the knight. I think this should be a pretty good position for me, objectively. I also have e5, maybe. Wait, e5? This is where I don't want to burn my whole clock, but... Okay, wake up. I'm going to just trust my instinct and play fast, you know. Because rookie one, I just block the knight, and I take the pawn... Rookie one, king f8. I mean, I'm not castling here, but I am just up a pawn in the center of the board. Just going to play fast and trust my instincts here. Oh, he takes. I did not expect that. Um, wait. That felt wrong somehow. Wait. Okay, so I might take with the bishop, keep the wooden shield in play. Because knight d4, I think there's just rook c1. Ah, no, bishop a3, he takes the knight. Okay, come on, keep it together. Just got to keep it together for three more games. That's all I have to do. I think now I have queen f6, maybe. Hitting the pawn, I have g6. I've got rook d8. If I get g6 and I can trade the queens off the board, I should just be winning here. I mean, this wooden shield is amazing. A good g6. Bishop g4, not easy. I play rook d8, knight d4, takes queen d6 is fine. This should be... T I mean, this should be winning, but again... It's like... It's... One g6, bishop... I'm thinking too long again. Why am I thinking so long? I could just go g6 and king g7, maybe. No, that's no good. <sighs> he also has queen a3, I just realized, so... Come on, you gotta move. 
Uh, bishop, maybe bishop b6? Then rook d1, and what am I doing? I'm burning through my entire clock bank here for no good reason. Literally no good reason at all. I think, um, I think I'm going to go g6 here. I think I'm just going to take and go king g7, actually. I mean, you can trade, but I mean, I should be okay here. I bet I had something cheesy like rook a7 or rook b8 or something weird that was just winning, but I, I don't, I, I mean, I don't trust myself at the moment, so. There's queen d5, which I think is bad. Um, Why did I do this? Oh, come on. Go here, I guess? Oh, I've got the kebab, actually. I've got a kebab with rook d2 and rook b8. Oh, stay sharp. Yeah, this is always the problem with the evening title twos. It's so easy for me to just, like, Lose the sharpness to go here, of course. Hit the knight, hit the pawn, classic kebab. I also have queen h4 and queen f4 to go for mates as well. I also have knight d4 and queen f4. Of course, he finds knight e3, which is a good move. Um, come on. Oh, do I have bishop h? Wait, do I have queen h? Come on, why can't I come with a move here? What the heck's wrong with me? So go here. It's not right, though. This is not right at all, I don't think. Maybe it's, maybe it's still okay. Maybe it's still winning. Knight f5, I have king f6, actually, so maybe it's okay still. Should be fine. Okay, now I get the double stack, and I should win. Go here, bishop d4. I could have played bishop e3 too, but... Yeah, I got the win. There we go. Big win! Big, big win. Very tough win. Very, very tough win. Okay, let's watch Nihal. Let's see what's happening in Nihal's game. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm playing very well today. Like, uh, other than the game against Nihal where I, where I missed the win, like, I'm playing, I am playing very well overall. I can't really complain. Let's see, Nihal is, Nihal's gonna win. So Nihal's gonna be on eight and a half. Take a holiday and come to Argentina. Yeah, Nihal's gonna win this game. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. All right, let's go back. Okay, um, I'm gonna get back to knight f. Actually, let's play knight f3 anyway, why not? I should have just played c4 right away, but whatever, we got, we got the system I want. Why am I under the impression of some kind of weird theory already? Oh, 
Oh, did I just blunder queen c7 or something? I might have just blundered queen c7. Oh, yeah, yeah, what am I doing? Okay, plays d4, and I mean, I can go knight a4, maybe. Knight a4 is the only move I have. Knight a4, d3, bishop e5. Or no, wait, knight a4, d3, queen d8. Maybe I, use, I should use my time here. Knight a4, queen c7, f4. Bishop b5, e4, should be, should be five, bishop b5. Let's see. I'm either going to, I think, win the game here or lose the game here, basically. See what he does. He goes bishop f5, so I, I'm I'm just gonna end up up a pawn here. I also have f4 though, which is uh, f4 d3 though. f4 d3. So f4 d3 is just no good. Wait, f4 d3, bishop d. No, that's no good. So bishop d4 or e d4, are the two moves I have. This looks like the if I'm playing for a win, I have to take with a pawn. I can play knight c5 maybe to trade. Hmm. I also have knight c3. Knight c5 is at least a draw. Knight c3 is, I think I'm just going to go for it. Very dangerous position for me if I don't play knight c5 because he's got like queen h4 and all kinds of very nasty threats here. I think knight c5 is the correct move. Um, he takes with the bishop. So if I take with a pawn, got knight c5, and then what am I doing? Knight d2, bishop b7. I'm gonna go for it. Goes for it. Interesting. Okay, let's take. C6. Take the queen. I'm trying to win this game at all costs, basically. Okay, I can play rook C1. This looks bad, though. Yeah, he's got a queen c7, and now I have to take. And then I have no. Wait, no, I've got b4 maybe? Uh, maybe I have b4, b5, and a4. Just to barely survive. I'm, I'm, I'm using too much time, though. I also could have just played a. No, a straight rookies. Wait, what? I feel like I've got something here, but I'm thinking too long again. I guess. 
I'm too slow. Too slow. I gotta pick up the speed. Way too slow. Queen E3, much better move, by the way. Oh, there maybe? I feel so shaky like I'm about to throw this game. I don't know why I feel so shaky. Do I push past six or wait? He blundered. Um. Blundered, yes, I got him, finally. Nice try, bro, nice try. Also, I have to be honest, I find it a little bit disrespectful that he does this, that he doesn't resign games when he should. Like, he, he's literally the only guy who does this where he doesn't resign games and he just plays it out. Which I find actually extremely disrespectful. He's like the only guy who does this where like when he gets a losing position, he just like, he's so salty that he never resigns. And it's, it's maybe like one of the weirdest things I've seen on chess.com. Nobody else does it. Andregan occasionally will do it, but not like, not like Bluebaum. He does it like literally every game. Um, I do the same chess bra. You're talking about a Rook versus Rook end game. No, I'm serious. He's done that. He's done that at least like five times against me where it's like I have plenty of time and I've got like an extra queen or something. And he, he just doesn't resign. Um, anyway, move on to the next game. Yeah. He does it every game without fail. By the way, Nihal won again. So what can I do? Uh, this is so upsetting because I would be on 10 out of 10 if I beat Nihal. I mean, of course, my pairings would be different, but kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't understand it, because he's obviously a very, very strong GM. He's like 2650, and I just, I find it very odd, that's all. Um, Nihal's going to get the Cena kid, he card beats Dropstone, so I play Dropstone for, yeah, but my tiebreaker is so bad that I still need to win the last game. This is what's amazing. My tiebreaker is still so bad that I need to win the last game. That's how bad this is. It's insane how bad my tiebreaker is, actually. Or no, I get seen him overhead. Okay, so I mean, I guess I'm going to gamble. I'm just going to move fast, basically. That means Nihal gets an easy pairing, though. Let's just play A6. Let's see, God is the one who said this kid is cheating, right? So, I don't think he is, personally. But, like I said, if, if he's... Uh, go D6 and G6, maybe. But he should be... He should definitely be a GM as soon as possible. Like, as soon as he has enough tournaments, he should become a GM, basically, is what I'm saying. Go here, develop my piece, maybe knight f6. Let's play e5. I don't like his start. Oh, maybe I should have played c5. Maybe c5 was better than e5, but whatever. The show goes on. Um, take with a knight, of course. And take with a knight or the bishop. I'm going to take with a bishop. Okay, let's go here. f4, knight e7. 
with Castle of Queens. I just want to move fast this game, basically. I just don't want to burn a lot of clock. Um, go here. If I get d5, which is my big idea, or f5, another big idea. I also have g5, maybe. I'm going to go d5 here. I'm using so much time though. Again, like every game I'm so slow, which is frustrating. To no to no no end. I think I'm actually much better here, but I need to be really sharp because like I know I'm much better here, but proving it is going to be very difficult. Okay, so I can take and play F5. I mean, I should take, of course. I have knight D3. I also have F5. Um I'm going to go F5 just attack. I had knight f6 too. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe knight f6. Then bishop g5. Unclear. I mean, I feel like I should be better here, but proving it's going to be difficult. But I'm up on clock, so. Rook d1. Don't I have some F4 trick? No, I don't. Check. I think I'm back in business here. But Bishop. Do I play Bishop or Knight? Also not clear. Let's take with a Bishop. Does that have Rook G1 or something? Yikes. Still very hard to prove. Maybe seven against rook h6. I don't want to move my bishop. F4. No. Come on, focus. I'm too tired. I can't spot it. No, because bishop f4, there's rook h7 also. Yeah, I can't think. I just can't think. I'm going to go for this. I suspect this is a blunder, but I, I don't see the win on the spot for him. I just want to go queen g6 maybe. So hard to play. And there's this queen g6 trick, which is what I'm banking on. I do two wait, but now I have f3, I think. Or do I check for... Maybe I check first and play F? No, wait. This must be right. I might have also... Ah, I think... Wait, no, I didn't have C5. It's 90... I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I'm actually losing my mind here. Bishop D2. But Bishop F4. Oh my god, I missed Queen B. No, I've got check. Oh, I no, he's got King B3. 
Oh my god, this is just a draw. I don't believe it. Unless I have knight c4. No, but it's made in one. Oh my god, I missed the... <sighs> oh, I misplayed this. Oh my god, I don't have anything better than a draw here. So I'm getting mated on d8. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I was winning this game. Oh my god, why did I do that? I'm sure I was winning here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, this is so annoying. If I win the game against Nihal, I win the tournament. Now I'm gonna get, now I'm not even gonna get third, I bet, on tie breaks. <sighs> yeah, I have, it's just a draw. Was I really not better? Wow. I should have played Knight of Six. This was my initial instinct that I didn't play it. Hmm, strange game. Strange game. No, I mean, if I win the game against Nihal, I win. But Nihal lost? Or no, Nihal... Yeah, Nihal, Nihal lost last game? Yeah, but it's still not good enough. Okay, but I'm going to get second on tie breaks. Okay, I'm going to get second on tie breaks at least. That actually worked out as well as it could have. Considering the, considering the score. Yeah. But like I said about this guy, I mean, I, I will be very blunt about this guy. He's either going to be like 25-50 within the next like six months, or there's something wrong with this play. It's really just that simple, because this play is that good. Um, so he's, he's either going to be 25-50 within the next six months, if he's actually able to play tournaments, um, or or there's something wrong with him. It's that it's really that simple, yeah. Wrong? I, I mean, I'm, I think he's legit. I think he is legitimate. But like I said, based on his play online he should gap up very very fast he should gap up very very fast yeah you can say he's too good too fast but the problem with saying that is that um is that Faustino Oro who's nine years old is um Faustino Oro who's nine years old is uh literally about to become an IM and he's nine years old so yeah I'm not talking about this game Ami Mac that's not what I'm saying I'm saying that basically his play across the board is just that good that Either he's going to be like, he's going to be really, really good or there's something wrong. There's no in-between. It's very, very clear cut. Um, my, my assumption is that he's legitimately, he's legitimately good. I assume he's legit, but like I said, if he, if he, if he's as good as he's played online, his rating is going to go like that. Overnight, he's going to be 25-50. And I do think he's going to be 25-50 within the next, definitely within the next six months for sure. If he can actually play, but we'll see. And he is better than Faustino Oro, obviously. That's not even a question. All right, you guys. I guess second place. Not not great, considering that I was winning against uh, Nihal. But today was a day when my tie breaks overall were so, so bad that I can't complain with um, with uh, where I finished. So not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's it's still it's still decent. I mean, if I if I'd won the game against um, if I won the game against Nihal, it would have been a very clean victory. But that's how it goes. It's not that big of a deal.